Welcome to Parpala Stretch Method YouTube channel and today we're going to show you how to improve your hips and middle split flexibility. We're going to start from going to our elbows, extending our legs, bringing our chest out. We're going to bend one knee up, open it out to the side, bring it up, up and extend. We're going to repeat that exercise for four more times. As you're extending your knee, make sure you're loosening up your hip a little bit more. Last two and try not to rock from side to side. And one, let's go to another side, out. And one, good job. Extend, two. And three, loosen up your hips a little bit more, four. That's a great way to warm up your hips. From here, we're gonna bend both of our knees open to butterfly and extend our legs out. From here, open to butterfly, close in and extend. Go two. As you're opening your knees to the butterfly, squeeze your glutes to bring your knees closer down to the floor. That's three. We have seven more times. Each time, try to bring your knees closer down to the floor. Four. Extend more. Good. And last three. Very nice. Key. Try to keep your knees as close as possible to the floor. Two. And one more time, last one. Very good, from here we're gonna sit up, open our legs to the butterfly. You wanna push your butt cheeks to the back more, grab your ankles, place your elbows on top of your knees, open up your chest and with a straight back, we're gonna reach with our chest over our feet, using our elbows to push our knees closer down. And lift up, take a deep breath in, and we're gonna repeat that exercise for four more. Each time you bring your chest down to the floor, take a deep breath out and get a little bit closer down. And exhale. Good. Two more times. Get a little bit lower down. Very nice. And last one. We're going to hold the position for five, four. Take an advantage of this time and bring your elbows more down to the floor to help you stretch your front and the back of your hips. Last three. Two, lengthen your spine a little bit more. And one, very good. From here, slowly bring your knees together. We're gonna go over to our knees, all fourth position. Extend your right leg out to the side. From here to warm up our inner thighs and the back of our leg, we're gonna push our hip back and go back up. Take a deep breath out as you're pushing your hip to the back. Make sure both of your hips looking down to the floor. Last two, keep your back in a straight position. And last one, we're gonna hold this position for five, four, three, two, and one. Go back on top of your hands. We're gonna slide down to the floor. If you cannot touch the floor, just make sure that your hips and your knees are in the straight line. You wanna feel a deep stretch on your inner thigh, your front of your hips and the back. Hold for five. You snap your hips a little bit more, take a deep breath in and out. Four, three, two. From here, let's bend the knee to the back and hold the froggy position. Open up your chest for 10, nine, eight. Squeeze your shoulder blades more, take a deep breath in and out and loosen up your hips a bit more to get closer down to the floor. Last two, and one. Very good, bring your knees together and we're gonna extend our other leg to the side. Lengthen your spine. From here, we're gonna keep our hips square, shift back and go up. Go two, take a deep breath out as you're pushing your hips to the back. Thirty. Last two, four. And last one, we're gonna hold the position. One, push your tailbone back and up as much as you can. Nicely done, shift your body weight on top of your arms and slide to the side. Make sure your hips and your feet are in the straight line. Don't push your hips back or front too much. Engage your stomach, squeeze it inside so you don't feel discomfort in your lower back as you're holding this position. Hold for last five, take a deep breath in and out. Four, three, two and one very good bend your knees extend your arms and bring your knees together 
Nice to